Well, Coasters, it's Bruce here and uh, I'm with Gary Hopkinson again. We're at uh, Greymouth High School at the, the new gymnasium. Gary, awesome building. It's a, it's great, yeah. It's, um, of course it's new. Uh, high school were very generous in letting us use it and uh, the artists love it because we've got natural light. Uh, everybody's in one big space. And, and so, an open outside. so we've only got, uh, what are we got, two days to go and uh, art on the park again for yep. 2021. Yep. Uh, Yep, 11 o'clock on Saturday and uh, 10 o'clock on Sunday. So um, even if you, get a, you don't like art, we've got some great selection of food on. Uh, we've got uh, three food carts, or four actually, we've got a coffee cart, and um, good selection of uh, international foods. There's always been a bit of a feature really, is uh, you've, got to, you've got to be well fed. And what time does it kick off? Uh, we're starting at 11 and um, we have a little bit of music through the lunch hour. Uh, music used to be a major feature of, of, uh, of art in the park, but um, it's you know as you economise on uh, on the running of the event, uh, unfortunately, uh, music was one of those casualties. It was great out at Shantytown, but not so not not such a great venue for music here. Now, Gary, how long have you and your team been driving this fantastic event? Uh, well, Ray's been involved since it began. Uh, 15 years ago, yeah, and this will be his 16th year. And uh, I came in as chairman about uh, about six or seven years ago, eight years ago, I suppose. And, and uh, there's about there's a team of five of us that run it, uh, with a lot of volunteers on the day. Uh, and people get the opportunity to buy the paintings, don't they? They do. Well, the point of difference is that we actually have the artists. They have to. They can't just drop their work and run. They have to be here for the weekend. Big commitment, particularly if you're coming from away. But um, it means that you can get to chat with the artist and what they do and how they do it, and uh, you can form a, a really good connection. And uh, we've made some, you know, some good friends uh, through that way. So, so Gary, will it be uh, artists from away, or? Yes, we've got uh, a team of there's, there's uh, ten coming from, uh, from Nelson. Uh, we've got artists from Christchurch and Ashburton, wow. and of course the West Coast. Uh, there's a new uh, artist, well, an, a, a Westport artist that's returned to Westport, who is a weaver, and um, she's exhibiting down here, um, international, uh, an international artist, um, and so it's great to see the support that they give as well. How do we go on the coast? We, I mean, I know we've got, you know, the craft sector is really strong. The, the artists, uh, you know, we've got artists in, in Hokitika, I know that... I have a strong. lot to do with. Yeah, it's uh, the well. One of the we've had a, just two days ago, we had the opportunity of bringing in the uh, uh, Tito Putini Art Award panels, and Sue Aspen's organised that for us, and right. um, they'll be on display here uh, in uh, the tech block, uh, along with our with the with the food stalls, and um, it's good to have you know tremendous quality of art. That was a real surprise um, for me. It's just the depth and the variety of art just from the West Coast. I, I had a look at them and I, I was staggered. Yeah. I was absolutely staggered. Well, there we go, Coasters. I'm with um, uh, Gary Hopkinson and, and we're talking about uh, the art on the park, which is in the uh, Grey High School gymnasium this weekend. Um, Going to be fantastic. Gary, look, good luck with it. And thanks so much. And I know that uh, obviously there are people coming from Canterbury and Nelson and Ashburton who are coming over to have a look perhaps buy a painting, perhaps just reconnect. Yes. It'd be great to see them, won't it? Great. Yeah, thank you, Bruce. It's been great.